Hi everybody, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and welcome to another haul video. So this haul video is gonna be a little long. I have Concord and Knife to show you, a Michaels haul from last week, and Hobby Lobby from tonight. So let's get started. I got a bunch of stamps from the Concord and Knife Memorial Day sale. They had 15% off and then a lot of their products were already on sale. The first thing that I got was this perfectly penned stamp set and it has uppercase, lowercase, and sans serif font. So you can use the upper and lowercase font together. And if you look at the back, it shows you what all of them look like. And if you notice, there's a box around the R's. It's the only letter that has two in the same style font. And if you look here, it's just the way the letter before it connects. So if you're doing an N, you would use this one. But if you're doing an O, you would use this one because the O would go up. So. It just depends on the letter that connects before it. Very cool stamp set. Very nice to personalize uh, cards and envelopes. The next one that I got was a bundle, the Love You So stamp set and dies. If you guys watched my video on uh, the Brother Scan and Cut, I said that I wasn't going to be buying a lot of dies, and that goes. That's true for image dies because ones that just cut out the stamped images, like uh, people and animals and things like that, because now I have the Brother Scan and Cut that I know works pretty well, at least from the one or two sets of cuts that I've done, they, they actually work really well. But this one you can use for other things with the squares in there, and then there's hearts and the little floral pieces and the arrows. I just thought that was really cute. And I like that there are three different loves here, the out, solid outline and then the just line drawing. And then these two different types of loves. I like the half tone dots. I think that would look really pretty. And maybe some Distress Oxide ink. And then you have the hashtag love up here. And then you have a bunch of different love things. Really cute. Next set that I got was Bits and Pieces stamp set. And if you guys have never checked out the samples that go along with their stamps, check them out because they have sold me on so many stamps because of the samples that people have made. And I can see what I can do with it. When you just look at this stamp set, it's just kind of like, well, what do you do with it? Go check the samples out. Absolutely adorable. I saw they made some donuts with this. Uh, and they also made birthday cake and I think presents out of these two. Super, super creative. You can do an entire background with these lines and then just fill in the pieces. So many different things you can do with that stamp set. The next one that I bought is Beautiful Branches stamp set. Now I did have the bundle in my cart and I really just wanted it for the branch to be able to cut the branch out. But then I realized that if I didn't have that, I could actually kind of straighten the branch out and not have to make it curved. And so I decided that it's probably a blessing that I didn't actually get the die set along with this. So here are the stamps. And I just thought some of this was really pretty. This is probably a more serious set, like a thinking of you, um, maybe even a, unfortunately, I think a sympathy set. But I think the images are very nice on this one. Again, go over and check out the samples. Then this, I believe this was from the last release, I think. The mixtape stamp and dies. So adorable. Again, I bought this. I don't have um, music note dies, and I just thought it would be easier to use these dies to cut this out. So I probably broke my rule, but I just thought this was really cute. And the brother scan and cut might have a hard time cutting out some of these little circle things, circles or anything. So I just thought it would probably be good if I just bought the whole thing, bought the, bought the whole die, uh, the stamp and die set. So for those of you who are old enough to remember the mixtape where when you would ruin the tape when the loop would come out, this is like the hello of that. I just thought that was really, really cute. And I have a lot of friends that would appreciate hello cards with that. The next stamp set, the bundle that I bought was the bold and brushy uppercase and the regular stamp set. So you can use these together, and I like how there's these blocks here. I saw some designs where they stamped this in a light color and then the letter in a darker color, and then they stamped one of the outlines around this. It just looked really cute. So, and I think they used all the uppercase letters. 
But then you have the lowercase letters that you can use to, again, personalize things. I also got the Beautiful Words stamp set, and I just think that they had some uh, sentiments that I had never, I hadn't really seen on anything else in this one, so I picked this one up. I thought this was really nice and could be useful for a lot of different cards. The last thing that I ordered from Concord and Knife is the Retro Petals Turnabout stamp set and stencil. So here is the Turnabout stamp set, and this is just like all the other ones, the jigs on the back. You just do the six by six, put the X through it, line it up, and then stamp it for one, two, three, or four times, and you get different patterns. So of course, I'm a huge fan of these Turnabout stamp sets. I love them. I think this makes, I think now I have all of them at this point. This is what I also love about them is that they didn't just st stop at stamps. They actually have stencils that are the turnabout stamp, like the turnabout stamps. So you have this stencil here and you have this stencil here. You can do so many different things with it. And if you look at it, here are the different patterns that you can make. You can use different things to create the patterns. So there are three stencils in here. So it was completely worth it for the bundle. That was everything that I ordered. And then I believe if you spent $60, I think that was the, that's, I think that's the threshold. It was 75 is free shipping and 60 is the free die. I think same as MFT. And you got this adorable flower and rectangle, or a rectangle, square with round, like the curved edges die. And then the love you. Super cute. I don't know, and I have to check this out. I'm wondering if the stencil pieces, or um, you, um, it looks like it might be the same size, the stencil pieces. So I wonder if you can cut this out and do some popped up, maybe the uh, top of the flower popped up. So we'll have to see. We'll have to practice and uh, make some cards. So now let me show you everything that I got at Michael's. I had to go the other day. Uh, I went on Thursday, last Thursday because my sister's best friend needed her daughter's one-year-old baby banner done for her pictures on Saturday. So I did it on Friday. So I don't have those, but I did a gold glitter one banner with some crowns on the outside and I will post those pictures after she says it's okay her birthday party isn't for another couple weeks so I have one more banner that I have to do so I'll probably post all the pictures at the same time but I did get a ton of other things at Michael's I found these muslin bags for five dollars these were twelve for five dollars I think they're five and what I want to do is I think I want to do two fairy bags for these so I have to sell at the craft shows. I'm going to do some mock-up samples and see how they look. That's what that is for. There were a lot of things that were 70% off. The Kelly Create stuff and a lot of, and all of the Disney projects. So I got a lot of those. These aqua brush markers from Kelly, from uh, Kelly Creates, they were $30. And there was no way I was spending $30. So for 70% off, they came down to $12. Definitely worth it. So there are $10 for $12, but couldn't pass that up. And then these markers were $24.99, so I think they were $10. So a dollar each. Not bad. I will try these out and let you guys know what I think about them. And then I believe this was $2.30. I think it was originally $5. This is her lined paper pack of 50. For Christmas, my sister-in-law, brother, and my niece bought me a hand lettering book. So I've been practicing on regular composition paper and I thought that I'd be able to use this. I picked that up and we will see. Now I want to show you the Disney crafts that I picked up for the girls. Now the twins have done one of theirs already because I watched them this weekend. But I got these pinwheels. So these were originally $4.99 and there are six of them in there. So I figured each girl could have two because there will be 12 of them or two of each kind. And they can make 
their own little pin mills. I think that I'm probably gonna bring this down the shore because it's not really a messy craft and I think it would be cute for them to put them outside in the wind because it's really windy down at our shore house. I thought these would be a cute craft for them to do maybe when it is raining out or when we're trying to get them to settle down at night, they can work on these or maybe like right after nap or something. So that is what the plan for that. And then I got this one for my youngest niece. I had bought the girls some other things and I didn't buy her some before. So I thought that I would kind of make up for it and buy her some things that are different because I don't have to buy all three of them the exact same things. So I bought her this little mirror that she can color on the front and the back and then there's little gems in there. There's also one up here, random one up here, but she can use all of those. They come with the little markers. It's another craft. I bought these um, and brought them to the twins this weekend and they hated it. I was shocked. I thought that they love puzzles. Uh, they absolutely hated this. So maybe it was just because we had done a painting one and then they were like, what's with the markers? But this is a little puzzle that they can color in and then put back together. Really did not like it. We'll see if Nora likes it. I had bought this one for the twins a little while ago. So when it was on sale, I decided to buy it for Nora. It's a little mini, like little door hanger thing right here. I'm not so sure that I'm going to be able to let her paint. I don't know, I haven't asked her mom. So this is going to be held until we ask my sister-in-law if I'm allowed to paint with her. You never know. I, My sister let me paint with the girls. I just have to, I don't wanna do crafts uh, that my siblings wouldn't be happy with me doing you know and I don't know if she can get messy I'm sure she could I don't think there'll be any issues I just want to double check be a good in-law <laughs> so the last coloring one that I bought for them or second to last is this little frame from Frozen I know how much they love Frozen so I didn't show this to the girls yet and maybe I'll have to do this on a day we don't do painting but I thought it'd be really cute if we took a picture and put that they, they met all of the Disney Frozen characters in Florida they're actually all three of them are going back to Florida this year so it may be a great project for them once they get back from Disney there's that so I bought three of those and then I bought three of these again not so sure that I know the twins can do it but I have to ask about the other one and this is a wooden canvas that they can paint on. So they have paints in here. The paint that I got them, I got the girls, the twins, another one. And they only had two of them, so I, I picked them up for the twins. And I got Nora the, um, the mirror. Um, they, the paint last time, they, there was extra paint. So they can use it on this one too, because there's a lot of extras. And then and those were all 70% off. And then these three books, I got one set, one, this one set for each girl. So each girl got three of them. The Cinderella or the all the princess ones, the frozen one, and the Ariel one. So they were two dollars and then 70% off of that. Really, really inexpensive. And then I so I think that's everything that I got at Michael's. Now on to Hobby Lobby tonight. They had all of these Copic um, sets tonight. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had most of them or I have markers in the other ones. So there were only two sets, this one and another one that I didn't have all the, any of the markers in. So this one is a B, R, V, and R, Y set. And I didn't have any of these, which I was shocked about. So I think they came to $24. They were 40% off. So 55, and I think it was like 20 something dollars for all of these. So it came, I think 550 a marker is what it came to. So not the best, but not the worst. And then I, oh, I actually already hung this. I got the flag for outside. It's really, really thin. I'm really surprised. The ones from AC Mora were actually a lot nicer. I wasn't really happy with the way this flag was. Um, so if you guys are, I thought it was really cute in the packaging, but when it came out, it was really flimsy and it's actually only printed one way. Like the flags I got at AC Moore, 
they were USA was like if if this was it this would be the way it looked on both sides the back side of it was the reverse so you couldn't even it, it doesn't look right on the back so whatever but I did buy that that was like four or something I think uh, it was 30 percent off 30 or 40 percent 30 percent off then I found the clearance section spectra markers I don't know anything about these guys but they were $50 and they were marked down to five so they kind of look like a little bit Copics, a little bit of Spectrum Noir. I'm just kind of a, we'll have to see how they work. But anyway, this is an entire gray family and it's 12 markers, for f alcohol markers for five bucks. How bad could they be? And if they're that terrible, the girls can play with them. Totally fine with me. Okay. And I got some Bria Reese heavy body acrylics. I got a yellow, which do they have? Cadmium yellow. And they have this Mars, Mars black. You can't see because of the price tag. Titanium white. So I figured these would be great for painting canvases. I'm so mad that they didn't have any more of these. 60 cents for these brushes. These look like the brushes that the, the Clarity brushes and the Tim Holtz brushes that just came out, and they're probably not as nice, I'm assuming, because they were 60 cents, but try them out. I'll try it out. I only got one of them. They only had one in the section. I'll have to check my other my, uh, Hobby Lobby and see if they have anything. And then I got these two were 25 cents, the Metallic Finish, Elegant Finish Writers. So... Not exactly sure what these do, but it's a shake well, use decor writer tip for lines, swirls, and dimensional decorating techniques. So, use them on cards, maybe make little dots and things for 25 cents each. Can't go wrong. Um, oh, I got one more of the Bria Reese, and this is some type of red. I can't read the cadmium red so there's four of those and I got two of these Brea Reese glossy dimensional modeling paste so modeling paste super excited about these I got a red and a blue perfectly in time so MFT tonight actually I think it already started um but they or at 10 o'clock, it might be 10 o'clock. They are coming out with their new products and they have this really amazing um, fireworks set. So that might be a great thing to use. I don't know, if, I don't think they have a stencil. I think it's just stamps though. We'll see. Okay. And then I got Gesso for 60 cents from Dina Weekly. I mean, 60 cents. It was $6. Also got some heavy body acrylic paint, the turquoise, 60 cents. Again, $6 to 60 cents. Can't beat that. I, I felt like I was stealing it. I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> and then I got the fuchsia one as well, 60 cents. And then they had the vinyl on sale from the paper studio. It was 50% off, so this was a dollar. It's a 12 by 12 sheet. But I thought this is really cool. Now this is not HTV. It is uh, just a regular sticky adhesive vinyl. So not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it, but super, super cute. And then I also bought glasses. I don't know. I bought little ones and big ones. And they wrapped all of them. So this is, and this is the design that I picked. They had ones that were similar to the ones that I got there last year and maybe maybe two years ago. Um, they kind of have rings around them, and but except they had fish in them this time, and I didn't like that. So I was going to get more of those, but I didn't. Got two of these and then two of the tall ones. That's everything for the haul. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on with the 30-day coloring challenge. I have been participating, so this is day five. I haven't done any coloring yet. This is all from days one through four. 
and I've been experimenting with some different skin colors. If you look at that, I don't have, just have the, I was just used to doing the light ones. Um, I kind of did a little bit of darker versions and, and used some different markers now that I have different markers, different colors. And I just can't find anything good for the pizza, the cheese on the pizza. Um, the crust is okay, but the rest of it, I think I kind of like, kind of like the way it, pretty much everything else turned out. So, these, what I did was I actually stamped on three different types of paper. I stamped on watercolor because what happens is I decide I want to start coloring something and then I realize I stamped it for the wrong medium because I always do some prep. So, I did these. This is the 120 pound cardstock. I also did a 65 pound cardstock or whatever the lighter one is 65, 80 pound, whatever that is. And then some watercolor paper, which would be perfect for those aqua pens. That is the plan that I'm going to do that. So I stamped all of these images on, this is the thinner ones too. So you have that. I do have some room at the bottom of some of these where I'm going to stamp some other things. But I used my Tim Holt stamp platform to stamp them out. If you guys don't know what the 30 day coloring challenge is, go over to Kathy Rakusen's Instagram and she's Kathy Rack, K-A-T-H-Y-R-A-C at Instagram. And there is a hashtag, the hashtag the daily marker 30 day. And then you can do, you can write each day on there if you want and you can see what other people have colored. All kinds of mediums, all kinds of uh, projects, cards, people just coloring and coloring books. There's also a kids one, and I think it's, um, I think you just hashtag kids after a 30 day, and then I think it's just kids. But she has all the information over on her Instagram, on her Facebook page, and I also have the, the information on my Instagram, which is Scrap Secrets 1120. You can go over to the post, you'll see the logo, and go check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a super long video. That was everything that I had to show you. And I am so excited to now clean this all up. Not excited to clean this all up. But just start using this stuff, especially all of the new products that I just got. So thank you for watching and have a great night. I'll see you again soon. Bye.